The first trailer for Alice Through the Looking Glass, the sequel to Disney's Alice in Wonderland, has been released. Tim Burton, who directed the first movie, is only in a producer role this time, with the Muppets director James Bobbin stepping in as director. Returning cast includes Mia Wasikowska, Johnny Depp, Anne Hathaway, and Helena Bonham Carter, while Sasha Baron Cohen and Reese Fonz make their first appearances in the franchise. The film opens on May 27, 2016 in theaters everywhere. Dennis, what do you think of this first look at Alice through the looking glass if i was judging it purely just on the trailer i like it it's interesting it makes me want to go see it the visuals are spectacular uh the returning cast which i which i all i like all of them are coming back the addition of sasha baron cohen i I like him however my 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 excitement is severely tempered because i didn't really care for the first one i didn't hate it but i thought it was really flat and dull and even these actors I really like gave kind of dull performance. The only one I, I thought did a good job was uh, Helena Bonham Carter as the Red Queen. I liked her, but everyone else was just really, really flat. And I understand why they're making another movie. I mean, it's made a lot know, of money. A, over a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. right. Of course they're going to make another one. Uh, and I like James Bobbin. Uh, he did The Two Muppets. And it, I guess he I looked at his uh, IMDb, and he did uh, The Ali G Show. And that's why Sasha Baron Cohen is right. in here. What, what do you think, Schnepp? Um, I like the trailer okay. I mean, once again, I agree with you. I thought the Alice in Wonderland uh, version that, uh, that Tim did was, it was visually cool, but like if it was definitely, it did not add up at the end. Uh, I liked, you know, uh, Helena as well. A lot of the scenes with her, with her where's my piggies? There was like little flourishes that were really fun mm-hmm. in, that, in that movie. And I see that in this trailer as well. So I'll, I'm looking forward to seeing it, but it's not high on my list. Mm-hmm. I dug the first look, and the thing is, you know, uh, they showed this during D23, so this is pretty much the same thing that they showed, but, you know, when they showed the initial trailer, when Tim Burton directed it, I think everyone was like, wow, this looks cool, this is what Tim Burton should be doing, because Alice in Wonderland's perfect for him, that world of kind of nonsense and, and just those crazy visuals, but for me, my issue with the movie was that it became Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, and it wasn't just Alice in Wonderland with Tim Burton's style, and... I think that Bobbin will actually make it more. He'll take that st- style that Tim Burton introduced in the first movie and combine it with what Alice in Wonderland is overall. It does look pretty cool, pretty big. Uh, maybe he'll get different performances out of th- the actors and actresses. But I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of interested in it. I know that we're getting Johnny Depp again as you know, kind of a kooky, kooky character. But he played it huh. in the first one, so he, I, I'm very. I, I was like Alice in Wonderland. By the way, is my favorite Disney movie like of all time. So I want to see. I didn't hate it like or dislike it. I think as much as you yeah, guys. Sorry, did. But 2D animated one, not yeah, the, yeah. not the, not the no, 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 the original, the original, the 1950s yeah. uh, version. That's one of my favorites of all time. But, uh, but, but I didn't hate the original Tim Burton one either. But I'd like to see what could happen here. So I'm curious. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.